What's up third graders? Today we're gonna start by finding the total when given the number of groups. Let's get started. J, First problem, B. how much is three groups of two? Groups of two tells me that I need to put two in each group and three groups tells me I need three of those groups. So I make three of those groups and now I can add up to find the total. So two plus two plus two. When adding the same number repeatedly, you can count by that number. So in our heads, we can say two, four, six. So six is our answer. We can represent these groups of questions with the multiplication symbol. We read that and we say three times two. And we say that we mean three groups of two. So we know three times two equals six. Let's try it again. How much is five groups of two? Again, groups of two tells me that there are two in each group and that I need five groups. So we make five of those groups and two plus two plus two plus two plus two. In our head, we can say two, four, six, eight, ten. So we say five times two is ten because five times two means five groups of two. All right, now we're gonna do the opposite and we're gonna find the number of groups when given the total. 8 is shared out into groups of 2. How many groups are there? Notice we're not asked to find how many all together, we're asked how many groups are there. So first we're told 8 is what's shared out. That means we have to start with 8. So then we take these 8 and we put them into groups of 2. And when we do that, we see that it makes 4 groups. So problems where we share out a total that's given to us like this, these are represented by division. So we say 8 divided by 2 is the same as saying 8 shared out into two groups. So we know 8 divided by 2 equals 4. Last example. 6 shared out into groups of 2 makes how many groups? So we start with 6, and then we share that 6 out into groups of 2, and we see how many groups are made. When we do that, we see 3 groups. So we know 6 divided by 2 equals 3 because division is the same as sharing out. So groups of questions are what we're focusing on today. So whenever you're asked to find the total from a given number of groups and the group size, you know it's multiplication. And whenever you're asked to find the number of groups when given a total, you know it's division. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Peace. using Powtoon.